Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking a look at a internet radio station application. This allows you to find and listen to internet radio stations. This application is called Gradio. Now Gradio is a GTK3 app. They are hosted here on GitHub. There used to be an Ubuntu PPA for it, but that PPA no longer is, exists and is no longer supported. But there are Flatpak and Snap versions of Gradio out there. So for anybody on an Ubuntu or an Ubuntu base machine, Snaps are, are easy to get installed. Uh, a lot of other Linux distros are supporting both Snaps and Flatpak these days. So pretty easy to get installed on any distro. Uh, I installed it in Arch. I believe it was in the Arch user repository. And for those of you interested in licensing information, it is released under the GNU GPL version 3. So let me launch Gradio. So I am uh, running KDE inside Manjaro Linux today. So I'm going to go to Multimedia and Gradio. Find and listen to internet radio stations. And when you first launch Gradio, you have the, your library here of internet radio stations that you have uh, basically bookmarked and can listen to. But of course, the first time you launch it, your library is empty. You have the tab here to library and you have a tab here for collections. You don't have any collections either. So we hit the little uh, search icon here and we can search for internet radio stations. When it first loads up it gives you just what seems like a random list of stations. Most of these look like they're probably Russian or Eastern European. A lot of stuff in Cyrillic alphabet and then we get some stuff looks like the Greek alphabet so not a whole lot of radio stations I would be interested in but let's see if we can filter them yeah you have the options under the search you can select country select state select language so I'm going to select the United States and you know what I'm just gonna see what it returns here in the US okay it returned a pretty good list of stations actually a lot of stations I could choose from so say I pick one so how about this one here Dolphin Radio out of New Orleans Louisiana and it's gonna connect to it and it's gonna begin playing now you're not gonna hear anything on this video I muted the sound here on uh, my Manjaro Linux here because I did not want this live radio station playing on the video because potentially my YouTube video could get taken down over such a thing but I assure you the radio is playing right now. Now say I wanted to save this particular radio station to my library. Uh, I could tick that box right there. When selected, add to library. And now when I go back to click library, I have Dolphin Radio, New Orleans, Louisiana. Now when I right click on this radio station, similar to how I did to add it to the library, I notice I have a you know a little heart symbol here I guess to rate the radio station. Uh, you also have this little edit symbol here, this edit icon. I click it, and it comes up with global database. Gradio is using a internet database. Everything that you enter here is going to be visible for all users. Please be careful and double check your input. So it is almost a uh, like a community project here where I can actually click you know continue here and I can edit you know the name, address, country, state, language, home page for this Dolphin radio station out of New Orleans, Louisiana. Say if there was an error that needed to uh, you know, be corrected or just some information missing it, missing in it, I can contribute to the project here. So that's really cool. And let me click the menu here and we have settings. I'm not sure what kind of uh, settings we have. So we have the option of integrating Gradio as a media player in our desktop environment. That's very cool. We have the option of turning on notifications. You'll want to do that in things like GNOME and KDE and desktop environments that support such notifications. Uh, we could make Gradio a tray icon so it would appear, say, down here in my uh, KDE tray, my system tray. Some playback settings, some library settings. Looks like we have the option of importing and exporting our current libraries. Uh, some appearance stuff. Do we prefer a dark theme? Yeah, let me turn that on. Let's see what the dark theme would look like. It doesn't look like it changed it. I wonder if I quit and restart the program, would the dark th theme be activated? 
Now I've restarted Gradio and it's still not a dark theme of any kind, so yeah, I'm not sure if the uh, theme settings is actually working in the program correctly. And then we have this check mark here. I'm not sure what that does. Click on items to select them. Okay, it's just a way of uh, doing a bolt select, a bolt selection. Uh, say I wanted to add a whole lot of uh, radio stations to a library or a collection. This is an easy way to select multiple stations. Anyway, it's just an, a neat little program, you know, for finding and listening to internet radio stations. Uh, might be something some of you guys find useful. Anyway, pretty cool app, Gradio. Check it out, guys. Peace.